New at 530, researchers at Johns Hopkins University are experimenting with a new treatment for dogs with brain cancer. They hope their research will lead to treatments for people. CBS 4's Karen Dillon introduces us to one four-legged friend taking part in the study. It's hard to believe 10-year-old Billy Correa was having trouble walking and experiencing seizures earlier this year. She can run and jump and do everything that she did prior to ever getting sick. Can you turn around? The Boston Terrier was diagnosed with glioma, a type of brain cancer. Like the brain cancer in people, it's not curable. Billy likely had weeks to live. It was um, unbelievably sad for us, but you know, you tried to focus on the positives, the good times you've had with her. The Korea family was told Billy was a candidate for a clinical trial at Johns Hopkins. A team of veterinarians, radiologists, and physicists is studying a new experimental treatment for dogs with brain cancer. Doctors pinpoint the blood vessels that feed the tumor and inject microscopic radioactive glass beads through a catheter. They actually release their radiation directly into the tumor and without affecting the surrounding tissue. Five dogs have been treated so far. This is Billy's tumor before treatment, one month later and at six months. You can still tell that there was a tumor there, but it, it almost looks like it's just a scar at this point. Mm -hmm. Doctors already use this type of treatment for people with liver cancer. And while more study is needed, the team hopes this approach can treat human brain tumors in the next few years. Being able to introduce therapies that may help not only dogs but people is is really amazing. Billy's owner Nick says that was a big draw for enrolling Billy in the research. He is a childhood cancer survivor. I was hoping that Billy could be part of that where where one day you know more people live because of what Billy went through. He hopes Billy can be one of the keys that unlocks a cure for brain cancer. Kieran Dillon, CBS News. Researchers say dogs can experience some neurological deficits after the treatments, but those problems resolved in a few weeks.